dear students, accompanying seniors, first of all, I welcome you to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Some of you might have seen it earlier, but perhaps most of you are seeing it for the first time. The building where you are located right now, of course, was not constructed by us after independence. It was constructed by our colonial masters, the Britishers, when the capital was shifted from Calcutta to Delhi in 1911. It took quite some time, and this marvel of architecture symbolizing the colonial power of British who boastly claimed that there is no sunset in British Empire. This building witnessed the high point of British power and also the declining of British power. And finally, they had to say goodbye with the end of colonial rule, which India had to suffer for 190 years. I'm glad to have this opportunity to have an interaction with bright young minds. Of course, I would have preferred to have interaction, but not just for five minutes. That's why I cancelled it, because interaction requires much more time. And next time, if I get the opportunity, I will dispense with the lecture part and giving a little longer time to invite questions from you and to respond to it. I would also like to congratulate you and the authorities of this program, Tatas, for organizing this essay writing competition on the ideas of the young minds, how to build the nation, how to build your country, which is housing 120 crores plus people. Popularity of the program can be easily assessed that in just six years, from 2006 till today, starting from one lakh participants, today it is more than two millions. Starting in English language, today it covers almost all major Indian languages. And this year, I am told, two more languages have been added, Telugu and Malayalam, which are also very rich. And the competition involving such a huge number of students, participants, at the school level, at the city level, at the national level, is unique. Each one of you will have to keep, I do not like to inflict a long speech on you, but I would like to tell you something which many, many years ago, our teachers used to tell to their teach uh, students as the parting advice. It was a long Sanskrit slokes. 
But after their graduation, they were advised, and I will just put up in three words. In Sanskrit, it was said, Shattang Bada, Dharmang Chara, Swadhyat Ma Pramodaho. Be truthful, be righteous, and do not deviate from your own conviction. Each one of you have ideas which you are reflecting in your essay. That how you want to build up. Two of the you have shared your ideas with us. We are simply fascinated how poverty can be eradicated, how the commitments in constitution. of providing equality liberty and justice can be put into actual reality how the dreams of the young minds can be translated into reality are getting reflected in your ideas in your compositions i congratulate you always remember what gandhi ji used to say that i will re receive all ideas winds from different direction should enter into my house but i should not be blown off my feet i will have to absorb it and that is the tradition and history of this 5000 year old civilizations who knows any one of you can come one day and occupy this room this building become the president of the republic i was just like a young boy like you and in those days it was not the days of computer television telephone electronic age i had to commute to get my classes in the high school 10 kilometers every day not having any road but i had one determination my mother used to tell me you have no option if there be no school nearby you will have to attend the school and for that you will have to walk whatever distance you may have to cover each one of you has that determination in your mind it is latent job of the elders is to rekindle it again i congratulate tatas for taking this initiative and bringing out congratulation to all of you on your success of winning the prizes but much more that you have your ideas and that ideas of each individual of you will flourish this great nation thank you young students my blessings my best wishes to all of you thank you these are two books